What's up, YouTube? Just Gav here, bringing guys a brand new video up onto the channel. And in today's video, we got even more news about the next Battlefield, or what I am calling Battlefield 2025, by everybody's favorite Battlefield insider on Twitter, slash YouTube, because he put out a video. Also, Tom Henderson. I'm going to pull up the article and throw the article up on the screen for you guys. Now, he obviously listed what's already been going on and the information that we already know. Uh, the fact that, you know, the setting, the, you know, BR, BR, it's all but been confirmed that's going to be a BR is going to be what Ripple effect, effect is working on. But I'm going to go ahead and throw uh, some of these paragraphs up on the screen. It's been a good week for Battlefield fans to start the head honcho of Battlefield. Vince Sampella confirmed many details, uh, include the Battlefield will return to 64 player matches, the classic four class system, and more back to basics approach. Battlefield General Manager Byron Beatty, I think that's how you say it, also revealed that the game will have large-scale community-driven testing early next year in addition to starting the game, has had nearly daily internal testing for over a year. Zappel also confirmed the new experience from Ripple Effect, which Insider Gaming has reported will be Battlefield's take on a new free-to-play battle royale to tie in with the game's premium release akin to Call of Duty, how Call of Duty found success with Call of Duty Warzone. So we kind of already knew this stuff. The third uh, paragraph is really where we get to, you know, some somewhat new information. Some stuff we already knew. Some stuff we may not have known. So let's go ahead and read that really quickly. So what's new? Now, following our original report and the recent confirmation of those details, we wanted to dive into some of the nitty gritty details that players might want to hear. To start, let's focus on the core of the game. Insider Gaming understands the game will take place somewhere between 2027 and 2030. With the campaign focused on a massive private military going, going up against NATO, the game will be set in various locations worldwide, including Gibraltar, as seen in the game's first release concept art, and the USA, which also believed to be the setting for the Battle Royale experience, Tropical Location. Mm, interesting, a Tropical Location Battle Royale. Like I said, I think it's a foregone conclusion that the or like i've previously stated that the third mode fourth mode whatever it's going to be is going to be an extraction slash br-esque experience because you can't sit back and watch the likes of call of duty and all the and well really titanfall with apex sit back and watch them hold the numbers they've held and have as much success as they as they've had and not do your own free to play obviously we've had firestorm in the past with bf5 locked behind a paywall it was a world war ii theme it was never going to be as big as these other games but i die Gress, let's continue reading. But let's cut to the chase and talk multiplayer. The aim is currently for 45 different weapons on launch, double that of what Battlefield 2042's core multiplayer experience launched with. In addition, the goal is for around 10 multiplayer maps, putting it in line with the likes of Battlefield 1, 3, and 4. The game will also see a significant overhaul to its destruction. While I couldn't verify if this means the return of Levolution, over half a dozen sources mentioned that the game would also have caliber-based destruction akin to Rainbow Six Siege with different calibers causing different amounts of destruction. It also, It's also understood that the game will see some changes to movement, with one example given by multiple sources the ability to pick up and move down players. While this has almost certainly been incorporated for the Battle Royale experience, it's been implied that this is also, this is, this is all of the changes and is part of the team's Battlefield Moments initiative to bring back the moments that made Battlefield, well, Battlefield. I've also been told that the team is currently weighing up the name of the game over the past year or so the team has been carrying out mass surveys some of the biggest i've heard about with participants voting on which game name they prefer battlefield or battlefield 6 so fingers crossed we might not have to wait long until that is officially announced finally regarding the large-scale community driven testing i'm very much inclined to believe that this is more just an open or closed beta but rather the return of the battlefield cte which really helped uh, the development of BF1 and BF4. So there it is. The biggest things to me that stood out is the BR being set in a tropical location. Um, and I, I think we kind of already knew or had been leaked that it was going to be a private military versus NATO not too long ago. The setting, the years it's set in, being in 2027 and 2030, so modern slash, you know, a couple years down the road near future, um, isn't really a surprise there. The number of weapons, I'm assuming the 45 weapons are primaries and not just secondary, or primaries, not just primaries and secondaries, I would hope. But uh, we will see in the name being tossed around Battlefield or Battlefield 6. Some interesting tidbits, some interesting stuff for sure. Shout out Tom Henderson, and uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. And uh, tell me what you guys think down below in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you guys want to check out anything else, all the links are in the description, Discord, Twitter, uh, Twitch, all of that stuff is down there. Consider becoming a member on the channel. We will be trying our best 
to cover all Battlefield tings up until the launch and after the launch, and hopefully maybe some Delta Force too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I outro like seven times the video. I'm sorry. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. So just gab, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Girls, girls. See ya. Bye, guys. That poor dude. That that didn't kill you? Are you serious? Thank you. I'll play this game, but there's no point. <laughs> I already finished the battle pass. Yeah, but you tier one the season, though? Mm -hmm. You tier one the season? I bet you do. How's that one damage? Let me just put a tank shell right on that dude, and I get one damage. Do that? Womp womp. It's more of a grind than tier one in the battle pass, I'll tell you that. Enemy what? Explain to me how that does not kill you, first shot. One of their soldiers! 200 okay. meters out! Insane, dude. Insane. We are hitting Bravo One. Not enough rewards. I guess, yeah. We got him the fuck off. Post has fought it. Two hundred. Birthday's next week. Sheesh. 